Good morning, my students. A very good morning to all of you. How are you, my dear students? Hoping all of you are doing great. First of all, stay inside your home, wash your hands, and stay safe. I am your maths teacher, and today we are going to revise lesson on decreasing order. So let's start with decreasing order today. It comes with another name, which is descending order. Now let's learn what is decreasing or descending order. Decreasing order means arranging the numbers from biggest towards the smallest. Let me give you another example with boxes. Here a big box. There a smaller one. And finally a smallest one. So we are going from biggest towards smallest. Now, let me give you example with numbers. We will start with one digit numbers. Let's start. Let's take three numbers. Seven, four, and 9. Now, what is the biggest number here? This one, 9. So, it will come first. Next, 7. It will come second. And finally, Number 4. So your answer in decreasing order will be 9, 7, 4. Let me give you another example with two digit numbers. Let's go for two digit numbers. Let's take three numbers first. 12, 16, and 10. As you can see already, this one is the biggest number here. So it will come first. Then 12. So this will come second and finally 10 as it is the smallest number so your answer in decreasing order will be 16 12 10 let us revise the lesson once again we will go backward so what we learn today we learned decreasing order. Decreasing order means arranging the numbers from biggest towards the smallest. It comes with another name that is descending order. And it means arranging the numbers from the biggest towards the smallest. From biggest towards the smallest. In one digit number, we got example of 7, 4 and 9. 
and first this one is the biggest number so it comes first then 7 it comes second and finally 4 it comes third so the answer is 9 7 4 we also gave another example with two digit number that was 12 16 and 10 16 is the biggest number here so it comes first 12 is the second number and finally smallest number here is 10 so your answer is 16 12 10 now solve the topic related worksheets problems in your maths notebook also do not forget to solve the additional problems that are given in the worksheet for practicing purpose. Additional problems are like one digit addition, one digit tables and one digit subtractions. Do not forget to do your homeworks and love you all. Once again, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.